Good day everyone. This is Rainier Jafante together with Romero Sturia and Josh Gopo. And today we're going to talk all about the story Under My Invisible Umbrella on how did the author reflect her life in the story. The story Under My Invisible Umbrella was published on September 12, 2013 and authored by Laurel Fantoso who is a teacher and a writer. Much of her works find her studying appetites, identity, the signal for real love, and to search for hope. She is largely a non fictional writer and an ECS, but she also writes young adult fictions. Laurel Fontoso was born in Southern California to a Filipino mother and an Italian-American father. The story somehow reflects to our society that white men needs to be treated special. Pantoso explained that that is this She feels in the Philippines makes a lot more sense than her because she was raised elsewhere. Still the way locals treat for another different be it subconsciously or not in her consideration. Aside from alienation, she experiences due to skin color, when you be to the Philippines, continues to prove a challenge, what with the complex public transportation system, and her limited knowledge to the language. The written true story of Laurel Fantoso was a great story. It is real and true story of Laurel Fantoso who have faced a lot of struggles and difficulties of adjusting her mother's hometown. She is seen by Filipinos by having a privileged position, not because she is a Filipina Italian, but having her white skin. Okay, 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 okay. Due to skin color, Manjo Bering through the Philippines continues to prove a challenge. Good day, everyone. This is Rainier Jafante together with Romel Spuriag and Josh Coco. And we're going to talk all about the story under my invisible umbrella on how the author reflects. <laughs>